We're going to continue our live team coverage. Dozens of people in some Vermont towns already having to evacuate their homes tonight. Let's turn to NBC5 Sid Buley. She joins us now from Waterbury. Sid, you were at the press conference earlier today, this morning with Governor Phil Scott. What's the plan from the state for the rest of this storm? Yeah, that's right, Brian. This morning, Governor Phil Scott said that multiple crews from out of state are also here helping crews from Vermont. Now, state and local officials have been preparing for this storm since last week. And I'm here in Waterbury right by the library. And if you take a look behind me, what kind of looks like a pond is actually the baseball field here. Now, that water has been rising since I got here around 3 o'clock, and it's right up to that fence line right now. Plus, the storm's also been hitting hard in southern Vermont, where we've been told by first responders that there's an unconfirmed death in Londonderry, where one man was reported to have been swept away in the flooding. Plus, dozens of people evacuated this morning across the region. And at this point, Governor Scott says we're getting ready to ride out the aftermath of this storm for the rest of the week. This is an all hands on deck response. Vermont Governor Phil Scott holding a press conference Monday morning, joined by state officials and first responders as communities across the state prepare for extreme flooding. We have not seen rain fall like this since Irene, and in some places it will surpass even that. On Monday, many Vermont residents asked to evacuate their homes or told to be prepared to evacuate like in Moortown, where the post office closed for the day, and members of the community offering up their homes to those who live closest to the Mad River. You're never going to have enough resources to deal with these mountain um, communities that are affected with five to eight inches of rain in a very short amount of time. The governor said he spoke with FEMA earlier in the morning to discuss additional resources for Vermont and arranging operational support from other states, including Connecticut, Massachusetts, Michigan and North Carolina. We've been there to assist them in their time of need uh, and now they're giving back. Meantime, if you've been advised to evacuate your home, the state has assistance set up to help you find shelter, especially when it comes to financial burdens. Just call 211. We can work with the Red Cross. We can work with local community shelters to, to find them space. Looking ahead, Scott says he anticipates Vermont to receive a declaration of a federal disaster from this storm. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll meet the threshold. We'll, we're doing the paperwork as, as we speak. Now again, if you do need to evacuate your home tonight and you need help finding a shelter or with some of the finances that can come with needing to leave your home, you can call 211 for the state to help you. Again, that number is 211 for state officials to put you in touch with help. Live in Waterbury, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.